Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by C Council. Module Hacking Web Applications, Section OWASP Top 10 Project. OWASP is an online community that produces freely available articles, methodologies, documentation, tools, and technologies in the field of web application security. In the application security domain, OWASP is unbiased source of information on best practices as well as an active body advocating open standards. The OWASP Top 10 is a powerful awareness document for web application security. It represents a broad consensus about most critical security risks to the web applications. Adapting the OWASP Top 10 is perhaps the most effective first step towards changing the software development culture within your organization into one that produces secure core. This is OWASP Top 10 2017 document. It contains the 10 most critical web application security risks explained. These are the 10 risks that are explained in the document. Injection, broken authentication, sensitive data exposure, XML, external entities, XXC, broken access control, security misconfiguration, cross-site scripting, insecure deserialization using components with known vulnerabilities and insufficient logging and monitoring. About this document and at OWASP, at OWASP you will find free and open application security tools and standards, complete books on application security testing, secure code development and secure code review, presentations and videos, cheat sheets on many common topics, standard security controls and libraries, local chapters worldwide, cutting-edge research, extensive cross-reference worldwide, and mailing list which you can subscribe and get the best out of OWASP. This is the website of OWASP. This document is freely available and you can have a copy of it and explore this further. The Top 10 Document Purpose The primary aim of OWASP Top 10 is to educate developers, designers, architects, managers and organizations about the consequences of most common and most important web application security weaknesses. The top 10 provides basic techniques to protect against these high risk problem areas and provides guidance on where to go from here. These are the top 10 risks identified in 2017. This is compared against the list in 2013. Injection flaws such as SQL, NoSQL, operating system and LDAP injection occur when untested data is sent to an interpreter as part of command or query. The attacker's hostile data can trick the interpreter into executing unintended commands or accessing data without proper authorization. Broken Authentication Application functions related to the authentication and session management are often implemented incorrectly, allowing attackers to compromise the passwords, keys, or session tokens or to exploit the other flaws. Many web applications and APIs do not properly protect sensitive data such as financial, healthcare, and personally identifiable information. Attackers may still search web apps. XML External Entities Poorly configured XML processors can be used to disclose internal files, shares, facilitate remote code execution, and DOS attacks. Broken Access Control Restrictions on authenticated users is often not properly configured. Attackers can exploit these flaws to access unauthorized functionality, data such as access other user accounts, gain sensitive data. Security misconfiguration is the result of insecure default configurations, incomplete or ad hoc configurations, misconfigured HTTP headers, and verbose error messages containing sensitive information. Countermeasure being all operating systems, framework, libraries, and applications must be securely configured and be patched and updated periodically. 
Cross-site scripting flaws occur whenever an application includes untrusted data in a new web page without proper validation or escaping. Or updates an existing web page with user-supplied data using a browser API that can create HTML or JavaScript. XSS allows attackers to execute scripts in the victim's browser, which can hijack user sessions, deface websites, or redirect the user to malicious sites. Insecure deserialization. This often leads to remote code execution. Even if deserialization flaws do not result in remote code execution, they can be used to perform attacks including replay attacks, injection attacks, and privilege escalation attacks. Using components with known vulnerabilities. Components such as libraries, frameworks, and other software modules run with the same privileges as the application. If vulnerable component is exploited, such an attack can facilitate serious data loss or server takeover. Applications and APIs using components with known vulnerabilities may undermine application defenses and enable various attacks and impacts. Insufficient logging and monitoring. This coupled with missing or ineffective integration with incident response allows attackers to further attack systems, maintain persistence, pivot to more systems and tamper, extract, destroy data. Most breach studies show that time to detect a breach is over 200 days, typically detected by external parties rather than internal processors or monitoring. Thanks for watching.